Hey Jonesy Babes and Anonymous Jonesy Babes, welcome back to my channel. So we have to talk about two calls that were dropped on Phone Calls from Prisons channel. Now the first call, I think maybe this is like the end of the conversation between Kiosk Kristen and Wade because she didn't sound too happy. You know, she wasn't like her normal self in this call. So I think, you know what, I think she's over it and she's losing interest in Wade. Okay, something happened because she sounds different. Okay, she doesn't sound like her normal, loud, weird self. But anyway, so Wade receives the death penalty paperwork. Okay, he didn't even sound like himself. He sounded as if he was kind of like uh, devastated or just like, 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 damn. Like it was a damn moment. You know what I'm saying? Like, damn. So there was no laughing. <laughs> There was no laughter, and I was so happy because I'm so sick of that fake laughter. He, he it just his laugh is fake, and I can't stand it. So it was a short call. It wasn't much to it, you know. He received his paperwork. He told Kristen he got it, and she was like, "Oh wow," you know. She told him to keep his head up and stuff like that. She doesn't sound devastated, you know. I guess it is what it is with her at this point. All right, so that was that on that call. Now, we have a new character unlocked, and her name is Breezy. Now, she sounds totally different from Kristen. She sounds normal. She got like a low, like a soft, low speaking voice. But what is it with these women in weight? Like, I don't understand. But her new name is Brizzy the Bank, okay? And we're going to get to why I call her the bank. So, you know, she sounds normal. And she says she's going to be there for him. All right. Um, Wade's laugh is very aggravating. It really is. It's, it's really aggravating. And it gets on my nerve. But, you know, hey, he's in there. Let him do him. Now, I remember in one of the interviews that his dad did say that he's not 6'5". But Wade said he's 6'5". But I thought his dad said he was like 6'2". Now, you guys could correct me in the comments, you know, to let me know if I'm wrong. But I thought I heard that in the interview that his dad said, yeah, he's a tall guy, but he's not 6'5". He's like 6'1 or 6'2". So, whatever. And in these phone calls, he's 25 years old. So, you know, if I got that part mixed up, let me know in the comment section. You know how we do it over here. Well, if you knew, you're just finding out. <laughs> All right, so um, Wade is recommending Breezy, you know, a series called Black Mirror. I think I watched it before. I couldn't get into it, but, you know, hey. I thought he was going to say something like, um. <laughs> Texas Chainsaw Massacre. <laughs> I thought he was going to recommend her that kind of movie. <laughs> but, hey, um. I guess he got to start off light first. You know what I'm saying? Um, he did say that Breezy has a body. Okay. Breezy the body, the bank. It's, he says she got a body. Body, yada, 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 yada. But anyway, so, um, okay. She got a body. And I'm like, hmm. When are we going to see these pictures? But we know we're not going to see these pictures. Um. Breezy says she put some money on his books, okay, and she sent some pictures. So there you have it. She's been she's been supplying him with some cash. Well, you know, not cash, but you know, canteen money. She this is where all the sweet talking is coming from and the laughing because he's getting something out of it. He's getting money. Okay, and she sends the pictures and Wade talking about some oh he got he got butterflies. When he was going to call her. and all. Do we believe that? Do we believe that? No. Nothing gives Wade butterflies. Probably one thing does. But I'm not going to say what it is. Because it's insensitive. But uh, yeah. A fresh. You know. M. Alright. So um, you know what M means. Yeah. So that's the only thing that probably give him butterflies. 
But um, I can't see him getting butterflies as talking to a girl for the first time or any time at that. Or maybe it was a dude now. He might get butterflies. But, you know, hey, let's just keep it there. So, we know that love, um, Wade loved um, tacos. Okay, he loved tacos, honey. <sighs> so, I guess, I guess if the jail have Taco Tuesday, <laughs> he's going to be like Cookie Monster and tear them tacos up. But I seriously doubt it. You know, they got to eat what they are given. And, uh, yeah. So if they get tacos, it's not going to be the best tacos, okay? It is not going to be the best tacos. It's going to be made with mystery meat and bushes from outside instead of lettuce. So he told... Now, this is the interesting part right here. He told Breezy to not worry about Kristen because he rather... <laughs> messy, messy, messy. He rather Breezy be his main. What? Yes, honey. You heard it. It's like I heard it. He told Breezy he'd rather her be his main. So, Kiosk Kristen is out and Breezy the bank is in. Isn't that crazy? That is so crazy. And he said that um, Kristen wasn't calling him and stuff like that. I mean, not calling him, but he hasn't spoken to her and stuff like that. So, I'm thinking like this is around the time... Maybe she went to jail or she got in trouble or maybe she was like, listen, I'm backing off. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, it is what it is, whatever that may be. He's now, did he say he was tired of jail, like doing the same thing in jail? Sir, it's jail. Jail is repetition, honey. You have to, you did the crime. Now you have to do the time and there's nothing to do in jail. You can't go play hide and seek. You know what I'm saying? Um, play cards, watch movies, but you're in the jail part. Now, the prison scene, mm, I don't know how it's going to be for you, but if you make it that far, well, you probably will, but you might be in, you know, away from everybody. So I don't know. Like, like I said, I don't know how this jail and prison stuff go. I just know what I see on TV and I take it from there. <laughs> but anyway. So, one of her pictures got rejected, honey. She said she was wearing some boy shorts and that one of his, you know, neighbors in jail, that person's girlfriend sent the picture with her boobs almost hanging out and they approved it. So, if they, if he's telling the truth, if he's telling the truth, if his picture got rejected and she was wearing boy shorts and his neighbor um, picture wasn't rejected with the boobs hanging out, then... The guards are messing with him. Okay? The guards are messing with him. Now, honey, he had a killer moment in thought because he said there's a lieutenant that was walking the halls, you know, and he walked past him and he said, I heard the good news. And he was just saying stuff to Wade. And Wade was like, I want to, you know, pull his face through the bars. Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. if you would have did that, buddy. <laughs> the news would have had a field day with you okay but he likes being in the news but he had a little killer moment he had a killer thought but somehow some way he controlled his rage hmm you know what let me tell you something when he gets sentenced either the death penalty or life in prison the death if he gets DP he's still going to be sitting there for a while and I'm telling you, the guards are going to be messing with him. So what's going to happen? You know, is he going to get angry to the point that he really would try to, you know, drag one or bring one through the gate? You never know with him, honey. He said he was a killer. So you just never know. So Wade wants to be in general population. No. No. I don't think that's a good thing for him at all. I really don't. And why he want, why does Wade is itching to get to general population? Because he wants to be up there with all the rest of the people out in the open. He don't he doesn't want to be locked in a cell by himself. If that is that what it is? You guys help me understand. If that's what it is, 
He wants to be in general population because it's a little bit more open. Or he'll have a cellmate probably. Or he's just getting tired of being confined and in a cell by himself. You know, he's not socializing amongst the others upstairs, you know, like out in the open. He's socializing, but not the kind of socialize he wants to do. I don't know what's on his mind, but if you guys know, let me know. Honey, Wade told Breezy to call him daddy. Oh, Lord, daddy. Listen, like I said before, I don't like when women call their significant other, their boyfriend, um, they booty pal, whatever, daddy. I don't like that. You would you would never in life hear me call my husband daddy, unless you know when we were when my my children were kids, I would say, hey, go get pop pop or get, go get daddy your stuff. That's it. Tell daddy to go take that take you to the store. That's it. I'm not gonna be like, oh hey daddy, how you doing daddy? I'm not doing that. No, that's horrible and disgusting. So there you have it. There you have it. Um, it is what it is. It is what it is. Oh, so we have a new character. And she's, you know, she's she seems normal. <laughs> she's not loud and crazy. She's not saying the N-word. Um, you know what I'm saying? So she sounds, she doesn't sound rough or thuggish. You know, she, she sounds like a normal, you know, person. So we'll see how long this lasts. All right. Well, that's all I have for this right now. I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good one.